happy Friday. It might not be Friday when you're watching this video, I guess. But anyway, pause the video and copy that down. All right. Um, if you uh, exited 2023 so happy that you didn't have to draw Vesper models anymore, today's bad news for you because we're going to draw more models. But today will be the last day. So if you, uh, again, were good at those Lewis structures and like shapes and angles and all that, then um, yay. I don't think you'll have any trouble with the uh, expanded octet and resonance that I want to touch on today. But first, um, do me a favor. In your bonding packet, by the way, y'all, those of y'all at home, periodic table and the bonding packet. The bonding packet was the one that looked like this on the front and this on the back. Anyway, in your bonding packet, um, flip to the very, very back that has the uh, electron configuration cheat sheet. And then look at your periodic table also. And what we're going to do is I want you to look at aluminum. Look at aluminum on the periodic table. What energy level does aluminum have if you compare it to your other table? The big number, what energy level does aluminum have? Three, just three, all right? The letter is a sublevel. So he's got an energy level of three. And I want to let you in on something cool that you didn't know about bonding connected to those energy levels. Here's a new interesting fact for you. It turns out that once an element has access to the orbitals of a certain energy, it has access to all orbitals of that energy. What am I talking about? Well, Aluminum has an energy of three, right? Look back at your cheat sheet. How many different letters have a three in front of it? How many different sublevels have an energy level of three? The three, right? There's S, P, and D. Now, aluminum, though, if you look at his location, he's only utilizing up through P, right? Because aluminum is with the neon magnesium row, I'm sorry, the sodium magnesium row, I'm reading this backwards, um, over to right here in the 3P block. But here's, here's my point. There's also 3D. Aluminum, since he has an energy level of three, has access to the orbitals in 3D. But that doesn't matter. I mean, if you look, what I'm saying is, is this area where you've got scandium all the way over here um, to the end at zinc, that aluminum has access to that area. It's just never mattered until this part right here where I want to tell you something cool. Elements with energy level three or bigger, three, four, five, six, seven, um, have access to empty, unused D orbitals. All right, ones and twos don't because the very first D that exists is 3D. There is no 1D or 2D. So this only starts with energy level three. But what these elements can do is expand their octet. They can shove bonds into those empty D orbitals and ultimately break the octet rule. Because those orbitals are just floating around with nothing in them, there's space. Here's what that means. Let's demonstrate it for you. 